Hi, I'm Wario Man X, and I'm going to be showing you today a little exploit in Nintendo Land so you can get 155 coins in just 10 minutes. Now, the first thing you need to know about this is in order to capitalize on the full 155, you need four working Wii remotes. There's no other way around it. Now, this exploit works by just capitalizing on the stamps so you can get in game. Because as it turns out, guests can collect stamps too. Now let's pick out one of the games now. Let's try that one. You better turn on, mister. It doesn't matter who's playing on the gamepad, just make sure that all four of the Wii remotes are playing as guests. I'm pretty sure I know about all that. Now the way the exploit works is that in each of the competitive gamepad versus the Wii remote attractions, there's a stamp that can be collected by everyone on the Wii remote side at the same time. Easy enough. So I'm just going to show you each of the ones that will work for your own benefit. And of course, we've got to skip through this. Now normally you can get 45 coins in a single game by getting 10 coins per player's stamps and an extra coin for each player in the game. This, was an, this one is an exception in that two of the players can get an extra stamp. One for having a full head. A full head counts of 20 candies in a single head. Easy enough. Since we go to 40, we can get two full heads in a single run. Don't they look full? Even though they're guests, for whatever reason, they can collect stamps. Whatever, more coins for us. So we got 5 for participation and 60 for the stamps. Next game. This will be the grilling one. Whatever, doesn't matter who is who. Again, doesn't matter where we're going. Suit up!
I forgot to mention that the stamps in the last one were to have 20 candies in a head and to not get caught by the dogs at all. This one is to catch Mario at the last second. So you're going to enjoy waiting out the whole two and a half minutes. So do whatever you want. Mario can run around, do whatever, just don't touch a toe. Have fun. Okay, now you can touch the toe. Toad wrangling. I win. It's always a good idea to start heading back to the toes once 30 minute mark hit, or the 30 second mark hits. Just to be safe. Take that. More stamps. Now we got forty for stamps, five for participation. We're up to 110 now. Next. Sure, I could have just done the menu, but that's fun. I wish I could jump like that. Why does Wario have to be the last one? In this one, the stamp we're going for is to defeat the ghost without using a battery. I think we can pull that off. That's all it takes. Mm -hmm. 
And that's all there is to it. 155 coins in 10 minutes. Now there's more we could do because there's actually six guests. So if you were to go with the other two weird modes, you can get the stamps again with the other two guests. Easy enough. And then you can jump all the way up there and spam your all your new load of coins to get prizes. Sure, why not? But there's only 200 prizes. So maybe you want to do this, maybe you don't need to. I mean, once you're done with the prizes, the coins don't do much help. Now since they're guests, the progress will not save. So if at any point we decide to go back to the main menu, or just power off the Wii, all, the Wii U altogether, the coins will be saved, but their stamps will be gone. So you can jump right back into the game and do it all over again. There's nothing wrong with getting almost a thousand coins in an hour. We'll just jump straight back in. Let's just head to a game and check the stamps to be sure. Yes. Must calibrate. See, this is why we can't have nice things, because we do this. We only need two players for now, we just have to check one of them. Yes, I still know. Ah See? No stamp! It's a done deal. So that's all you gotta do. See you next time.